Hey everyone, today I am going over all the smart home tech announced at this year's all digital CES. I've got announcements from a bunch of major companies and some less well known that will make your smart home even smarter. I'm Justin Deck and I post smart home videos and tech reviews every Thursday morning so you should totally subscribe to my channel and if you want click that bell for alerts that way you know exactly when my videos drop. All right so here are some of the biggest smart home tech announcements this CES. Let's go. Sonos has announced a battery replacement kit for their Sonos Move which goes for $69. Now you can add about an extra 11 hours to your listening in case that first 11 hours just wasn't enough. Obviously it's not the most efficient replacement as you'll need to use a little tool to detach some screws, but it seems pretty simple. It's already up on their website for sale, so I've left an affiliate link in the description. It helps me out if you use it. Sonos has also announced Sonos Radio, basically their own version of Spotify or Apple Music, which will cost $7.99 for the ad-free service. Next, Yale showed off their smart delivery box. Leave this outside your house and have deliveries placed right inside the device. As soon as it's closed, it will lock and you will receive a notification on the app. There's also an insulated insert for perishable items. When you go home, just use the app to open it up. I'd also like to see geofencing being used here. So when you pull up to your house, the box automatically opens. I did reach out to Yale if they had plans for that and they said that they don't at the moment. Next, we've got some Google TVs. Both Sony and TCL have announced the first TVs with the Google TV OS pre-installed. All 2021 Sony Smart TVs, including the A90J OLED, will ship with Google TV instead of Android TV. And for TCL, it won't be on all models and instead will just be on their very own TCL Google TV. I reviewed the Google TV OS in my Google Chromecast review that came out a couple months ago. I love how intuitive it is and how it shows you content that you wanna see. If you wanna check out that review, I'll leave it down below. While on the topic of TVs, LG has updated their controller with a few smart features. 2021 remotes will have both a Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa button. There will also be an NFC chip at the base of some remotes that allow for streaming content from your phone to the TV and vice versa. No word on which phones are compatible. LG is also rethinking their ThinkQ app and want to create a more connected ecosystem for their products. For example, they've teamed up with Nestle and Kraft Heinz to connect recipes with your appliances. Just scan a QR code and it will set your appliances to the right cooking settings. I went into much further detail on all of LG's smart home announcements in my day one coverage video with Tekka Moon. We covered all of LG and Samsung's keynotes in two videos, which you should totally check out. I'll leave links down below. And speaking of Samsung, they had a whole swath of smart home tech as well. First, their smart things cooking, which showed off how their appliances, such as their oven and fridges, can work together with smart things to create shopping lists right from a recipe and even display cooking classes right on the smart fridge. They also announced a new smart robot vacuum called the JetBot 90 AI Plus. The robot has object recognition technology, so it will clean close to safe objects, but steer clear from fragile objects like a vase. It has microphones, LiDAR, and 3D sensors, and a camera to sense its surroundings so it won't get stuck on socks or cables, and of course, to build a detailed map of your home. With that camera, you can check in on your pets, and its powerful AI can even decipher which pet it is. Best of all, it will dock and empty its belongings when it's finished. I feel kind of relieved now. Now for some smart plugs. Lutron has announced their very first outdoor smart plug for Lutron Caseta, releasing in late March. It's got a single plug and it's priced at $79.95. Many other outdoor plugs have two sockets, so this does seem to be a pretty steep price. Lutron says it's got an IP65 rating and is built to withstand heavy weather conditions, hence the more expensive price tag. Lutron also announced an integration with Ring doorbells. You can now set Lutron controlled lights to turn on when motion is detected, when someone rings your doorbell, or even use advanced motion settings to welcome you home with the ideal lighting as you approach your house. Next, we've got GE Lighting with some new products and some new branding. 
Normally their lighting products work on the C app, but now their app is called the Sync app and they've got a few devices announced. First, another smart plug. This one with two ports. It's weather resistant, but there's no IP rating. It can be controlled with the Sync app using just Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. You can control it with both Alexa and Google Home. Unlike the Lutron plug, you can't use Siri. This plug releases in March, but there has been no price announced. They've also announced the Sync Fan Speed Smart Switch. Using the device and Sync app, you can control ceiling fans from anywhere without a hub. You can program up to four speeds and schedule it to turn on and off. It will be released in June, but no price has been announced. Lastly, the Sync Indoor Camera. This wired camera has a manual privacy shutter that slides up and over the lens and turns off audio monitoring. It's also got a micro SD card port to store video if you don't want to subscribe to their cloud-based storage service. The camera releases in May and again, no price announced. All right, here's a totally new type of smart home sensor. The Xandar Cardian sensor. These sensors work with Alexa, Google Home, If This Then That, or on its own to create automations around your home. Instead of using a camera or motion sensor, this device uses radar technology to monitor the multi-vibrational patterns emitted by the body with 99.99% .99 accuracy. It can monitor vitals, so if someone in the house has a heart attack, it could call for help. Or they say if you fall asleep on the couch, this sensor can detect that and speak to your smart TV to turn it off, as well as your smart lights to dim, and even set your nest to an optimal sleeping temperature. The Xandar Cardian sensor received the 2021 CES Innovation Award in the smart home category. I personally have never seen anything like this and I'm really excited to see where it goes. What about you? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And next there's Ampere, making their virtual debut at CES this year with Shower Power, a Bluetooth speaker that is powered by, you guessed it, your shower. It easily installs right on your existing shower head for all your podcast and music listening. It works like a water wheel from a dam. The water flows in, pushes the mechanics, and charges the battery. And when you turn off the shower, don't worry. The internal battery, once it's fully charged, will last up to 10 hours. So this thing should be up and running for all your bathroom visits. Shower power is up on Indiegogo for $99, and I've placed a link in the description. There you have it, Smart Home Tech at CES. Let me know what devices you're gonna get and how you're going to implement them into your home down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, you should totally give it a like. Again, I put up videos every Thursday morning, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, click that bell for alerts. I'm Justin, and I'll tech you later.